Welcome to Mindful Mutiny, and I wanted to talk today about something that I have really discovered in my own work in the coaching industry. I work to ensure that people that I'm working with get a very high level of coaching from me, that they get a lot of service, that what they're getting from me is really valuable. Don't worry. This is not particularly a sales pitch. This podcast is about what I have discovered in the coaching industry that may be able to help you when you are looking for the right coach for you. The coaching industry has seen tremendous growth over the past couple of years. And with a wide range of different types of coaches and services that are offered across different niches, not all coaches are created equal. And it is essential for consumers like you to understand the difference between different types of coaches and warning flags about what it is that you need to look out for. There's a diverse different kind of uh, there are so many different kinds of coaches out there in the coaching industry, from executive coaches to wellness coaches to just basic life coaches, productivity coaches, all of these different things. And it's important for you to narrow in on exactly the right kind of person with the right kind of experience and that that person has the right mindset that you can work with really, really well. One of the first things that you need to look out for when you are seeking a coach is how to understand where the red flags are. I'm going to be honest. I have had a coach that I've worked with that I just kept ignoring the red flags on, and I don't want you to make the same mistake that I made. Do you have somebody that you're considering being a coach who seems to have inflated promises and inflated results? Is the coaching focused? Is this person telling you that they can help you with every single thing there is for you to work on? And if they are, how do you know that? In what way have they proved that they can do all of these things that they are trying to convince you that they can do? If they can't prove that to you in a way that you feel comfortable with, that's a warning flag. The other thing is, what are the credentials or certifications that this life coach has? Now, here's the thing. There are no certifications that you need to be a life coach. And honestly, I think that that's okay because there's lots of fantastic people out there who are coaches that don't have any certifications. Really, it's about what that person has done in their life, what that person has done in their career, what they bring to you, what they have accomplished, what is their background. For instance, I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist. A lot of coaches actually are. It prepares you to understand how to ethically work pe with people, where some of you might be pushing too far with somebody, you understand how to handle people's information, and you just naturally can move on into the coaching field because you have been trained and you understand how best to treat people who are working on themselves. Maybe you are looking for a business coach. You're looking for somebody who has been really successful in business. I have seen out there coaches that... Really, you can see that they've only spent a few years at the lower levels of the working world, and now they're offering coaching to you. Are they great coaches? I really do a little bit more research on that person to find out why is it if you've spent five years doing customer service that you think that you're going to be able to coach me successfully through some big transition that I want to make in my mindset, in my life, and my career. Can't you just also know that in the world of social media and marketing, that it's not necessarily an impressive thing when you see that somebody has a ton of followers. Here's something that I learned in this. Followers can be purchased. These click farms and these ways of fooling the algorithm so that somebody looks like they are more prominent and more popular than they actually are. These people often are very good at their social media image. They write books and so forth, which is all great for building credibility. Is the book good? Do you like what this person is saying? Do you feel that it comes from an authentic place? Is the person's content that they are putting out there something that you find to be compelling 
and really promising for where it is that you want to go, I can guarantee you I will never purchase followers. Is there some kind of guarantee that the coach offers with what it is that they are trying to sell you? And the guarantee should be, I will provide for you X, Y, and Z. And when you sign a contract with a coach, X, Y, and Z needs to be in that contract. And so that you both understand what the coaching contract is supposed to deliver to you. Is the coach's approach something that is consistent with your personal values? Do you feel that they are using the right language, that they seem to have the right level of professionalism? Do you feel that their temperament is something that, that is really good for you? Are they exercising a level of understanding you? Do they cut you off when you're talking? Or do they listen to what it is that you really need? Make sure that you understand what the process is and what the methodology is that's being used, that you understand and it can be clearly defined to you in what way they're going to help you. Is there Are there pillars that they work from? I teach you how to do this, this, and this, and I do this by doing this. And so that you understand exactly what you're getting and how it's going to be taught to you. And it's not just that they're going to provide that to you, that, that they are also going to keep you consistent, that they're going to support you, and that they're going to be there for you when you're starting to feel like things are moving too fast or that you're not getting what you really need to get out of the coaching and that they are willing to talk to you about it and change course if something is not working for you. Are they transparent with you? Do you feel like you can have a consistent ongoing dialogue with your coach that feels respectful, that feels like your needs are being met. And for the love of everything, trust your instinct when selecting a life coach. Pay attention to how you feel during your interactions with the coach and whether you believe that, you, that you, they are genuinely interested in your success and in your well-being. Picking a coach can be something that is really, really, it's very important in your life. It's something that you need to really jive with this person because this person is holding your future potentially in their hands. All of the success is something that you are going to accomplish, but they are going to be somebody that's holding you accountable. Do you feel like their approach is compassionate? Do you feel like they understand and are there not simply to make money from you, but because they actually care about who it is that you're going to be on the other side of this encounter? Are they available to you? Do they tell you that you're worthwhile? Do they check in with you because they really care about who you are? And do you feel like their methodology is something that is consistent with what you need and how you're going to grow in life? It's very important for you if you're going to be investing this time and this money in the transformation that you really need to make because you're looking for something in your life, that the coach that you are engaging is somebody who's going to walk beside you and support you, be there for you, and teach you things. It is most common in a coaching uh, practice that there are low ticket offers all the way up to very high ticket offers. Try out some of those lower ticket offers that they have. Sometimes they are groups. Sometimes they are masterclass. Sometimes they are courses because you get a really good idea of who this person is when you are working with them and, and you're learning from them in a group. How do they respond to questions? How do they respond to being put on the spot sometimes? Because sometimes that sort of thing happens. The most important thing is that you understand that all the way through your coaching relationship, you're in control. You're the one that needs to feel like you are actually getting something productive out of this relationship that you are learning and that you are being treated with dignity and respect all the way through it. And so from me to you, Make sure that when you are shopping for a life coach, that you are really definitive about the kind of person that you want to work with. The kind of person really matters. Their background, their credentialing, their qualifications, these things really matter. And 
Just because somebody's really, really good at a sales pitch, don't let them fool you. If your spidey senses are going off, just know that you're in charge and there are other life coaches out there that might fit you a little bit better. Tap the brakes, know that you have all the time in the world to make the decision about who is right for you. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to the Mindful Mutiny podcast and in a life. There are more decisions than anybody could count. Living your highest form of yourself is the most rewarding thing that you can do. Make incredible, positive, risky, and bold decisions to be the highest version of you. Now go be something great.